Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. You know as I look at this rack right now, um, I'm studying it. It's a good looking rack. It looks like it could be run out. Everything's pretty open, but I need to really make sure that I focus as I go through this. I don't want to take this rack for granted. And, and there's something that has helped me in my game that's hard to explain, but I'm going to try to do that with you guys tonight. As I look at this one ball to shoot this in, I'm going to shoot it down the rail, and I'm going to go out on the shot. I'm going to go down on the shot. I'm going to think about how I'm going to hit the shot first of all. I'm going to hit some low with a little bit of right. Got to aim at the one ball a little more full because I'm going to throw it into the corner. And I'm not going to think about that anymore once I go back to my backstroke and go through. This is where I think a lot of players make a mistake. As you're calculating that shot, and you may even be building up a little anxiety because you might think, oh, that's a, tar that's a hard shot for me. I, I have trouble with that shot. And you have those negative thoughts and they enter in, but they stay in and they go all the way through to you, the point where you make your stroke, you shoot your shot. And it makes the stroke off, it, it, it affects it. It basically makes you miss. So you have to be able to control yourself and stop those negative thoughts or stop any thoughts for that matter once you get to the point where you're going to pull the cue back. And that's what the video is about. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that here. Let's shoot that one down the rail. A couple feathers, I'm going to relax. I hit that very good. I didn't, the one ball didn't hit the cushion on the way in. It was good. I think, I don't think it did. It looked like it went in clean. I got a nice little almost straight in, but a little angle shot. I can, I can do a lot with that shot to get on that three. So a little stop shot, type of stop, and it should come off the cushion nicely. Relax. Stop at the cue ball, clear my thoughts. Perfect. Went right in where I wanted it to at the perfect angle. Little draw off the three. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, let me look at how I want to get on that five. I think I can go three rails here. One, two, three. And if I drift this way, I can have a nice shot on the six. If I come across the six, I can have it in this corner as well. I'm going to go that route. I think that's the best way to go. This five ball looks like it's frozen, and that's a, a drill, or not a drill, but a shot that I just showed on one of my videos. And I'm going to hit inside spin there, so that's a hanger. So let's go ahead and make this shot and see if we can make that. I'm going to draw this back a little bit, clear my mind, relax my thoughts. Just a little bit. Just enough to give me, makes me feel good if I'm pulling, if I'm bringing the cue ball towards the next shot. Just psychologically that helps me. Okay, I've got a nice angle. I can go the three, the three, three cushions. Let me just look at it here. Yeah, it's going to go up here and here and that's going to come across the line. So I'm going to try to, it's a speed shot. See if I can pull it off. I could also draw it back but I'd be risking the side pocket scratch because I have done that many times. I could actually draw it, hit it here and then out to there for this shot, but I like the idea of going forward. There's a saying, um, draw for show, follow for dough. So let's see if I can pull this off. I want to clear my mind. I want to be totally committed here. Oh, 
overran it just a little bit. Not bad, not bad though. I'm not on the cushion. I'm directly flowing to the seven. That's a good thing. I've got to put a little draw on it though. Clear my thoughts. Ooh, almost missed it. Kind of died on the shot there, you guys. Chickened out a little bit. I wanted to stroke it a little more than that. I didn't quite stroke it right, and I basically spun that ball out a little bit. I made it. I got four and uh, almost four and a half. They're just a smidgen over four and a half pockets here, and I was able to pull that off. Now I've got a pretty good little angle here on this seven. I think I can draw it back to get my eight in the side, and if I get a right angle on this eight, or the right angle on this eight, I'll be able to easily drift down for this nine. I'm gonna clear my thoughts, relax, take my breath, execute. I'm almost out. I'm not taking it for granted. I wanna make sure every shot, I'm thinking of only the seven at this point. Okay, I didn't quite get it back far enough. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to have to go one, two, three, and I'm gonna have a shot, hopefully on this nine in that corner. That's pretty darn good, pretty darn good. So now, I'm gonna take my, I don't wanna mess up now, I'm doing good. Don't take this shot for granted, it looks pretty easy, but I'm gonna take it just like everyone. I'm gonna relax, take my breath, clear my thoughts, and shoot it in. I hope that helps you guys. Um, I know I don't like to just show runouts because I think that's like trying to show off. I'm not trying to show off here. I'm trying to, convey a message to you that you need to clear your mind. Don't think of how you're gonna shoot the shot while you're shooting the shot. Think of that first, 100% commitment, put that behind you, execute the stroke only, and make the shot. Focus only on that. If you do that, it's gonna help your game tremendously. If you have any questions or qu comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Like I always say, keep on practicing.